everybody and welcome to video two in our fall foliage series. Can't believe I said that. Um, say it ten times fast. Fall foliage, fall foliage. Anyway, um, we um, left off where we were inking and stenciling everything. Now I've added some pieces in and we'll go over that in just a second. I've got all the papers cut. I went ahead and trimmed all the outside edges and then I reprinted the ones that had the lines in them and I saved the side that um, wasn't damaged in the first place and then I threw away the one that was striped and then I also cut the new one into two pieces so I actually have more than what um, we would have had. I have a couple of duplicates in there I think. I'm not sure at this point. If you'd known what I would had gone through it was insane. Uh, I had to reprint stuff two and three times for some stupid reason my printer has just lost its mind. So anyway, so here's our um, here's our pages. I pulled out just real quick these few that are absolutely positively writing pages only writing pages only and pulled these out for the backs and for um, not for cards. We've printed on the backs of these on purpose so that we can use the picture papers for cards as well because most of it we're going to glue right down and glue right over my ink. So um, so we've got those and we've got these. These are my background papers. So I've got those all trimmed and cut. These are just gorgeous. I didn't realize how pretty they were until I started flipping through them when I was printing them out. And they really are gorgeous. I, I really do like this kit. So we've got that. So now the first thing we're going to do after going through all that and having stenciled until I didn't think I could stencil anymore, and I'm not kidding, this has been two days with the papers and the stenciling and stuff. So I stenciled once again to re review with Rusty, um, Rusty Hinge and um, uh, 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 Frey... Uh, burlap. I almost tried to say the, the corduroy one, but no, it's not brushed corduroy. It's frayed burlap rusty hinge. That's what these two are here. What I ended up doing was taking the stencil and putting it down. Then I did a light layer of the frayed burlap and then I made my dark spots right of the frayed burlap before moving the stencil at all. These ones back here look are the ones, some of them look a little bit better than others because the later ones I did a little bit better at once I kind of got a, you know, a rhythm or a method going. And then I took the rusty hinge and I did a light layer over the top of the um, burlap and that gave it that kind of a golden color. And then I did the, the heavier spots of the rusty hinge so I did that for both of them. Then I moved the stencil and did it again. Now there are places that it's obvious that it overlaps, which it, it, it actually doesn't look bad um, because the stencil is obviously smaller than this full page. Um, but it's going to be covered with paper in most cases. Not all cases, but in most cases. Then the way our book is going to go And make sure to stencil extra, remember, where your tabs are and along here. That's why it looks like I almost did the whole thing. I almost just went ahead and did the whole thing on everything. It was almost easier. But um, because the paper's only going to come to here. So make sure you go in a little bit extra. All right. All of a sudden, my nose is running. My nose was not running all day. So this is what we're going to have. This is going to be our cover, and I've got the stuff set aside for that. We probably um, will get to just the beginning of it. Then when we open it up, you're going to have this full side here. Then on this side, we're going to have these three flaps, and they're going to be glued down as pockets. And we're going to have tags. Okay, I think that's how I'm going to do it. Or I might glue them down this way 
Yeah, we want to glue them with the little ridges on this side. And I might just glue down the little ridges. And then we would have um, a flap and then another flap here. And then it wouldn't be glued down. That's probably a better idea, isn't it? Yeah, let's do that when we get to it. We're going to, um, well, then we need to paper this. I was going to glue them down without papering it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'll decide by the time we get to it. Okay, so these are going to be here. Then when you fold this, this whole thing will go because we're going to glue these two together. Okay, except we're going to make a flap. That's why I did the whole thing on this one and this one. And I shouldn't have written here. Except we're going to cut it here. Down to this first line. So that we can make a flap out of it. Okay. So that'll be that. That'll flap here. This is going to flip up. We've got the little ridges to fold to glue on around the paper. So that's going to flip up. These two are going to flip together and they're going to be a large pocket. And we get to this part and then this one is going to um, be on here and it's going to uh, flip down but it'll be on this side so that everything isn't on this side okay and then we'll have the back and we'll figure out something to do on the back and it, if you'll notice on here I did exactly what I told you guys not to do which is I kept forgetting to clean the surface and I also let the uh, fuzzies from the uh, dauber fall on here and now I've got all these little ink splotches. Excuse me. So let's um let's do this. This is gonna go in section three. That way we can set them to the side. So I went ahead and stenciled all these scraps. This is going to be section two. I guess I could have just put one, two, and three. And then these are going to be in one. And the reason I put them this way is because we need this to go out for the longer because this is longer. Okay. And I still may trim these down a smidge more, still stair-stepping them in size. I still think they might be a little long. Oh, and then I went around the edges in um, gathered twigs all the way around all the edges front and back and all around and all on these and I think that brought it out it looked real plain um, without the edges inked this is going to be section one it's funny how I write in cursive and print all in the same the same word okay so we're going to take these and we're going to set them up here so the first thing we want to do is we're going to go ahead and make our cut here so that when we glue, we glue in the correct place. And I also marked G for glue, section three, G for glue. And then I had G for glue here, but um, I had it written in the wrong place, so I erased it. You saw me do that. So this is two. It's page three. Actually, 
Okay, so let's figure out what we're going to do with this. Let me measure. Five and a half would leave. Three and a weird number. Okay. So what if we did, well, it's going to be the same. Yeah, five and a quarter. Well, we got the gap for the paper anyway. Oh, yeah, and then that leaves us three and a half. So let's do five and a quarter. We have some glue or something on the back of this. There we go. Keeping it from sliding. So we want to go five and a quarter. I'm going to make a little mark. And then five and a quarter. Make a little mark. I'm going to go straight across down to this first. Why can't I not see the line? Oh, it's right there where that one is. Okay. So we're going to draw from there to here. Draw a really light line. Straight across. Okay, just from here. From this first line from when you can expand your manila folder. If you were going to use it as a manila folder. And we're going to cut straight across this line. Okay. And then we're going to ink this. Did a pretty good job. I don't really see where I drew the line. You see the dots. Get rid of those. And we're gonna ink this. for this. I think I want to ink this a little bit more. Well, maybe not. Kind of hard to figure out how to get down in here without making a big schmear. Okay, so we've got that.
now I've got it wrong again. How did I do it? Oh, page three. No, that's right. No, it's not. That says glue. It goes like this. And we're going to glue along this here. And then we're going to glue across here and down and across. Whoopsie, no we're not. We're going to glue up here and out and out. And we're going to make this into a pocket over on this side. Let's see if I can get it right. The way this is inked, it makes it harder to see and to look at. Oh, we should have inked this. That's why. Take forever to get down in that little corner. Okay. This goes this way. So we are going to Yeah, we're gonna have paper on there, so it doesn't matter. We're gonna glue Now how did I miss one? I didn't do this one. You have to kind of picture in your head where you're going to be when you get done, even though you're not looking at, you know, anything at all. Now I can see where to glue. Like that. Okay, so now we want to put enough glue to hold this puppy together. There's no ink right there. It just kind of stops in the middle of nowhere. That's better. So now we want this to be a pocket. So we're going to go ahead and glue, I should have filled my glue up. My paper did get here yesterday afternoon. And we'll talk about the ephemera real quick too because I had to, um, now we only want to go out that far. Glue this. I'm going to glue this. I'm going to glue it really good because that's the only thing holding the whole bottom half of this section together. And then we're going to take this and we're going to lay it on here, like so. Make sure everything lines up.
and I did it backwards. I did it backwards. No, there was no other way to do it. So then I should have cut this off here and rounded this corner. I'm going to cut it off at that little point. And then we're going to round this corner and we're going to eat this. Wasn't what I planned. That's all right. Everything's glued except for these two little sides, and we can see where they. Okay. Should we round this? No. Okay, now let's and this, this is gonna have paper on it. Okay. From here down. Got it. Got it, got it. So now we're gonna glue here. down. It wasn't exactly the way I meant. I had it flipped around in my head. But it will still work. And that opens like that. This will have paper on it. I'm going to need to stencil this right here. See, I knew that wasn't coming out right. So, let's take our frayed burlap. And just put some down. And some darker spots and we'll go back and we'll erase that G which is right in the wrong spot again and then we'll go over it with the rusty hinge Which gives it that overall golden color. And then we'll go in and we'll give it the darker spots. There we go. Now I need to erase that G. Which the paper's probably going to cover anyway, but... 
okay? And then on this one, we're just going to make the big pocket. So we want to glue the shorter one, which these work out to be even. So we're going to make a big pocket. I'm waiting for the glue. I'm going to take a drink. Glue all the way around on three sides to make our pocket. Mm, it just doesn't seem there we go. It didn't seem to be putting out enough glue. I'll do this so I can move it around. Is that the way I want to get? Yes. And then we want to make sure everything's lined up. So now we should have a big pocket right here, which we do. We have our flap here, which I really thought I was going to end up putting on that side, but that's okay. Would have made a big pocket here. And then we open this, and this is where the three things are going to go. And then we go back to the cover. Okay, so we're going to start on the cover for the other, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. And we're going to be using a spinner hand and a brad. To hold our flap shut. So we're going to have two envelopes on the cover. This is going to be our cover paper. I love it so much. Why am I doing this? I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so we're going to have Papers out of the way. We're going to have um, an envelope like this. It's not going to be this full height, obviously. And then we're going to have another envelope like this. Well, that's how it works that I can have. All right. So 
this is a window. This is the pocket. And that's a window. And then we'll make the, um, we have to make the top a pocket. So we need to cut this paper first so we know what size we're going to cut these. I missed inking here. I did so much inking, my eyes were crossed. You see what I mean? I didn't ink it. Um, Because once again, like in our other projects that we've been doing like this, we don't want to um, see that this is a um, white envelope. So first let's cut Now I did it wrong again. No I didn't. So this is going to be the top. This is going to be the front. So I want them to be two different heights as well. So we're going to, I don't know why I did that. There we go. Keep Spend more time moving stuff around than I do getting anything done. <laughs> All right. So now I want this stripe to be along here and then we'll have these three pieces to use too if it works out right. And I want these uh, mushrooms, but I want this corner to still be on the page. So I'm going to slide it down. And we're just going to work on the height right now. But I need to know what the where I'm at so I know what the height is going to be. I'm going to move it down a little bit more. And the reason being is I don't want this exactly on the corner um, where I cut. Just because I don't, because the way the little leaf comes, you know, out over. We've got some real dried flowers that we're going to be using. I'm going to cut that there. And we're going to cut this here. Anyway, I've got some, some dried flowers. There's some ephemera that looks like um, real flowers. Or not real flowers, but leaves. Looks like leaves. Not necessarily going to say real, but some leaves. Let's 
see this is going to make a nice belly band. I even saved this little skinny one. Okay. So we've got this. Now, in fact, darn it, I really need it to be a little bit shorter. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm going to um, leave it like this. Now we're going to look at this part here. You can see where the straight corner or where the rounded corner ends, which is right here. Then we're going to go in a little bit from that. And so then that will give us, hmm, yeah, there's no way to get the whole thing. You can still see the pencil there. Okay, so then we're going to go this way. So we're going to cut it in about here. Okay, so we've got this nice piece. So we'll have this, like this, and then now we'll work off of this paper with the envelopes. Okay, so let's ink this. We can set this to the side for just a sec. Like I said before, you know, you might uh, would have wanted to use walnut stain. I'm happy with this color. Um, I don't think it needed to be super dark, but it just depends on your preference. You could even do vintage photo. It would be really light, but... And this is when you need to decide if you're going to kind of distress the corners or not. Or if you're going to go with that straight, clean look. Okay, so now we've got that. So we want this pocket to be shorter. So let's decide how long we want this pocket. Which I'm going to say probably about where that is. I don't want it to be the full height. Yeah, we have a little bit of the leaves peeking through. And this has to be, the pocket has to stay on the top because we're gluing this envelope this way. So there can't be a pocket on the side. Okay. So let's cut this off. We'll finish inking it now that we know the height. And it's okay that this is open. These are thin envelopes, so be careful when you're doing that part there because you'll 
crinkle your paper up. Which is going to be covered, so it pretty much won't matter anyway, but still. Okay, so now let's do the height of this one. We don't have to do it that much shorter, but I just do want to do it a little bit shorter. So let's do it about... Let's do it about here. Oh, it doesn't matter, so I'm covering it. So this is the top and the pocket. We don't have to worry about magnets on this because we're going to use our little spinner to hold it shut. Okay. So now we want to paper these and then we'll put the windows in. Um, let's see. If you make this a side pocket, then it's going to stick out. The card's going to stick out. So um, I'm not going to do that. I'm, I'm not going to, I could, but I'm not going to turn it around this way and put it in. Because then we can't have a window here. Well, we could attach them. Let me think about this for a minute. We could attach them together. paper it, and then cut the window. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter either way, because then, um, see that would put our pocket really close in here where the opening was, so it doesn't matter. So they're both going to stay top pockets. I just make these notes to myself just because it's easy to get these flip flapped around. Yeah, pocket, and this is top. Top, and then pocket. Okay. So now let's see, where do I want, oh, we are going to need a magnet to do it this way, aren't we? Hmm. Well, that's going to hold it down. And that should hold it shut too, right? I don't think this is going to be long enough to hold. 
Well, maybe it will. I'm going to put a magnet anyway, just in case. Okay. Not going to hurt anything. So let's decide on our window. I think I want to use these. I don't think I want the exact straight lines with our nature theme. Oh, there's a tear in the bottom right there. That'll work. So now, papering it. This is going to be the back on one. This is going to be the back on another. This is going to be the front on one. This is going to be... The front on the other. Um... And then we'll mark it here. Remember, we're leaving a little bit of an edge around. And that gets that white, you know, edge off of there. And this enhances that lighter color. Oh, I really like that. In fact, I think I'll we'll just glue this on and then we'll pick up from here in the next video. Because it looks like we've got 50 minutes right now going on. Now, on this, which I don't normally do, but... Come on. 
some glue. I think I'm going to put some acetone in here and then add the rest of the last little bit of the bottle that I have to thin the glue out a little bit and make it come out the um, nozzle a little bit better. I was going to say I was going to glue it in the center because I'm going to have the window there. But I don't want to do that, to tell you the truth, because I'm going to be cutting the window there. I don't want to get glue all over my blade. Oh, look at that. You almost want to leave it like that, don't you? And just put a window on the other one. Hmm. Put it down farther. Well, maybe we can get this window cut in here. And you definitely want it to be past, you don't want the window to show out in here. No, this really jiggles the camera. I'm sorry. Yeah, see, there's a little bit of glue on there now. Oh, it went over the wrong way. So now we've got this as a card. It's going to be pretty. Well, that's all right. That's still okay. Oh, we're going to use it again here in just one second. Okay, and so then I'm going to go ahead and um, ink this glue the acetate which is the clear plastic on the inside well maybe i'll wait and do that with you guys in case you've never done one before um and then um paper the inside which is putting paper in facing this way I, i'm not going to use this i'm just showing you so that it covers the white area But you can't use this because you can see it. Hmm.
Why can't I? Because when you, um, you'll be able to see around the edges. But there's nothing that says I can't print out another one of these. Oh boy, more printing. And slide it in here. So that it makes the complete picture when you take the card out. Sounds like kind of a cool idea. So I might do that. All right, so that's where we'll start next time. We'll do the other envelope. We'll cover the front, cut it out. We'll put the magnet on. And we'll put our spinner on. And we'll attach the envelopes. Or we'll attach the envelopes and then we'll put the spinner on. Okay? All right. I will see you in the next video, and that will be just one second for you and a day for me. Okay, bye-bye.